If you are traveling this weekend, you won't be alone. 38 million drivers are expected to hit the road. When you reach your destination, it may be a little pricier. The points guy says travelers face a big hurdle, slashed inventory and reduced capacity. The key to summer trips will be flexibility. To save money, maybe take a trip in the middle of the week. Uber's CEO says the supply of available drivers is getting a little better as more people venture out. But there's plenty of room to go as demand for rides increases. He says pickup times aren't where he'd like them to be and surge pricing is up. Uber is spending $250 million on a one-time package of incentives to get drivers back on the road. Well, an entire community in Virginia Beach is reaching out to 8-year-old Xavier Norris from Princess Anne Elementary School. He's the child we told you about earlier this year who beat COVID-19, only to learn he has stage 3 cancer. Xavier is at CHKD right now, recovering from surgery after doctors removed a tumor and his left kidney. This is a special day for the Norris family. But I will show you why yesterday was also special. The pandemic divided the Princess Anne Elementary School family, but a display of love brought everyone back together. May 25th was Xavier Norris's eighth birthday. I thought of a couple ideas and, and just kind of landed on this. Uh, it was the easiest way to get all of our kids out and for him to just see the love and support. The love and support wrapped around the building. For many, this was their first time seeing Xavier in person since he was diagnosed with a stage three tumor after recovering from COVID-19. They are so supportive every time he hops on a Zoom. Xavier was not okay when 10 on your side first brought you his story in March. At that time, he was too weak to eat or speak on camera. Doctors at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters went to war on a tumor the size of a grapefruit. Removal was too risky because of a critical vein that was also involved. The disease and the more aggressive treatment took a toll, but over the weeks, the drugs worked. It did retract. Um, it's out of the vein, and we got the thumbs up for the surgery. I spoke with the family on the eve of surgery. Scary and, you know, happy for them at the same time. This is mom, Nikisha, at Xavier's side before he was rolled into the operating room. Four and a half hours later, a catheter was removed along with the affected kidney. We're looking at um, possibly a week, maybe more of chemo, depending on the pathology report um, from the tumor. It is said when one person in the family has cancer, everyone has cancer. Xavier can't wait to get back to in-person learning in the fall. I'm going to be really excited to see my friends. Now, the surgery was a success, and his chemotherapy treatments will resume next week. People all over the country have donated to the family on a GoFundMe page, and one donor is treating the family to a camping trip this summer. I will have much more on Xavier and his recovery later this evening on wavy.com. Stay with us. Wavy News 10 at 6 starts right now.